So we're seeing it from the Kanza crew point of view, but the Lemon Train are one up. Right, Kat, you're going to have to come all the way back to make sure you're not in the way of anything. And I'll come over to you. We'll see if they try and do the same tactics again, if they decide to mix it up a little. They are picking the same tanks from the same direction, so there's a good chance they'll run a very similar strategy. But we'll see. <laughs> Low first shot ricochet. We're dead for it. Everyone get out. Cool. Right, so this time they've sent both scouts down the east, west, right? And they are taking the hill with the heavies. So we're going to see a completely different dynamic game. I'd say this time, maybe last time we did the same thing, but we only saw the one scout down the west, and we did see an uh, eastern scout start. Sorry, last time. So I do believe this is a totally different strategy. So yeah, it's been an interesting tournament so far with lots of drama off and on the stream. <laughs> so let's uh, let's hope the finals are going to have some amazing games. I can only imagine they will be. It's on Prof Rough Quest, so it's going to be fast paced. You see a lot of AMXs and stuff. So I expect to see a lot of 90s. A lot of discussion going on here from the cans and the crew. They're actually someone shouting negative. Cobra is like, no, I'm not doing that. Maybe. We don't know. We can't hear the chats. We can only pretend. So Coco Logo is um, Coco Loco is all the way back trying to help cover a staggered formation from the other scouts, um, Commando Cobra. Now, that's the interesting thing I find with this. They've got both their scouts from the same place, covering the same direction. I'm not sure the purpose because the other scout at C2 isn't doing anything until Cobra uh, Commando Cobra dies. Here comes a suicide scout into the corner, or is he just doing the 50 meter rule? He's doing the 50 meter rule. Silly doing the same thing he did last time, but on the other side. Last time he was on uh, D, sorry, D3, and right in that corner of D3, the bottom right hand corner. So this time he's got the other side to find out where the team are. It's a fantastic position to reveal anyone using the 50 meter rule. Nice shot there and taking damage from Enion X from Herba. Oh boy. Polish. I need to learn Polish. Just purely for these names. <laughs> but we have a heavy tank moving up. Enion X has actually moved all the way up into this position. And so is the Rebel. The Rebel has come with him. Again, these two are stuck side by side. And the the Kazworth Scout has gone down, so they know that the hill has been taken. So they're going to be pushing through any second now. If they don't push through, and I think they're going to. Uh, they know that they're in trouble because the hill has been taken. Oh, uh, Yangra didn't realize he had his bum out, but he did. He took quite a lot of damage there from Kampan, but exchanged the damage. Exchanging is never the way to win battles, as these guys know. Bounce from both of these guys, and Hava is having a hell of a time trying to fight off both um, Rebel and Alien X this time. The two AMX 5100s, though, are trying to come around the rear. They're over at H8, trying to come around the back. They met the other AM X6100. I'm surprised they haven't just gone out there and tried to take it out. Uh, no, no, it took a lot of damage, and Mojo is only taking ramming damage. I guess there was a collision of some description there. Uh, both the AMX6100s are there, though. So this is going to be an interesting firefight where the Commando Cobra could make a huge difference. And they stun a cap. They're using the other light scout to come out as well, Coco Colo is really effective against AMX 5100s. They actually have no armor and can penetrate with their gold shots. So it's actually really cool to see these guys being used. They can do about 100 damage in clip if not more. If they're lucky. So these actually are something you scared of if you're an AMX and you've got one shell left or something like that because they can do some damage. 
You can't be like a T32 and just run at them and go, you can't hurt me. Oh, Selena SSD is there trying to reset, but Coco, Coco Loco is trying to prevent. Oh, Cobra has gone down. I was thinking he's, he's coming over to be protected, but no. The uh, Snip has come out and taken the reset. The uh, Mojo and uh, Finlander, uh, both from the MX-5100s, are trying to chase the 5100s from the uh, other team. But Cancer Crew have given up and tried to come back instead to support their T-32s have engaged. Polish Rebel and um, Alien X are fighting it out here, but Mojo is taking the shots in the front. Uh, here they are surrounded. Cameron, Cameron's going to go down. One more shot, 74 HP. Yes, he's down. So now it's uh, Alien X versus Hover and Co uh, Cobra with Jitter losing his fight with the Rebel. So the Rebel has won the fight in the North, North so the North now is owned by um, the Lemming Train. But he's the last guy alive here. And Hoba, if he's not protected by Cobra right now, is going to go down. Protect him. Yes, he has protected him. So there we are. He has to have the extra gun there by Hoba. And Cobra is going to be turning to face. This is a tight battle, though, because two shots will kill either of them. There may be a difference in the HP here, but it's two shells, and that's all that matters right now. There's only one AMX, and that's Snip left for the um, uh, Lemon Train. And Kansas Crew still have both their AMXs alive, and I'm not sure if they fully relate to this or not, but I would assume that they've tried to. Oh, Coco Loco lost his one on one battle with Selena. Silly, I just call him Silly. Uh, with his T1 with 7 HP remaining. Snip goes down in the meantime. I think that's enough to call it GG. As long as their Hyber doesn't go down before the AMX comes. And if he does, this is close. If you're watching it, oh, he does go down. So if there's no shells left or very little shells in these AMXs, this could go south. So Kansas Crew needs to win this one or they are out because Lemon Train are one up. So this is super important. One shot from Glenna. One, two. Do they have another ship from the chamber? Yes, they do. Okay, so this is um, not even a super uh, T1 company. Uh, plated in gold with 7 HP could take on two AMX 5100s, even if they ran out of ammo. <laughs> they would just run it. So that's GG, it's one all. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the final of this semi finals and see who goes for it into the finals. Uh, uh, yeah. Check out the ratings to see if the other game is finished yet. Okay, cool. Ah, it's robot. Thank you. If I get a robot, you need to recall me. Oh, my God.